Nancy Drew fans, we're back for more Nancy Drew. Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing Nancy Drew and the Haunted Carousel today. Got my Bravery Lemonade. Yeah. Uh, you'll have to excuse me if I seem a bit disorganized today. I actually kind of surprised myself with this stream. I was... I had the day off because of the holiday, and I was just sitting here like, hmm, I wonder what should I do today? And I was like, you know what? I've got a few hours. Why don't I play some Nancy Drew? So here we are. I got my notepad and pen ready to go. Uh, I don't know how much we're going to need them. I'm pretty sure I'm good to go for this mystery. Um, I'll be honest with you. Most of the prep that I do for these uh, Nancy Drew streams is just making sure that I've watched somebody else play the game and finish it recently, which I have. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, like I remember, you know, there's no puzzles or anything that'll surprise me, hopefully. So we should be good. I'm hoping to get this stream done in about three hours, ideally. That's about the average we've done for the other games so far. Um, if you haven't seen any of my other games, go check me out on, on YouTube. There's a link somewhere around here. Uh, but yeah, let's let's get into it. Um, you'll have to give me a second while I start the game up, and then I'm going to have to mess around with the, the windowed mode, because, yeah, not my OBS just jumped to the other side of the screen. So give me a second. Okay. Tap out of that. Close that. Swap this over to this view, and then this window has to go about, no, not there, right here, and then we go back into the game. There we go. So now the game's on that screen, <clears throat> and OBS is on that screen, like it should be. Um... <clears throat> I'm not seeing any audio output, though. Let me mess with that. Because you guys should be able to hear this game as well. Let's see. Video. It's been a while since I've been on the old uh, OBS. Do I see connected? Uh, let's do... Yeah, I've been fairly busy being a dad recently, so not as much time for streaming. How's that? Okay, that's good. Sorry, so I just want to get this red box off of the screen. Now, go away, please. Wasn't gonna go the whole stream of that just sitting there. Okay. I think we're finally good. Fingers crossed. Okay. Got video. Got OBS. You can hear me. You can hear the game. Okay. I think we're finally ready. <coughs> like I said, a little disorganized today. Alright. Well, with that, let's get into it. Welcome to my latest case, The Haunted Carousel. To start playing, choose either junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose tutorial. Ah, decisions, decisions. I guess I hadn't really thought about this. Um, there's still no checklist in this game, so picking junior is not going to really do anything for us. However, I know Nancy has some form of notes. Um, on our computer at the hotel that we are using as our base for this one. Um, yeah, and I'm also not super familiar with this one. Out of the first, like, ten games that I consider, like, the classics, this is probably one of the lower ones for me. So I don't know as much about it. I think I'm going to go junior, just because I don't want this to take forever and in case I get stuck there 
can be notes or something I can refer to, so. Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park, about to try to figure out what's behind all the weird things that have been happening here lately. First, a horse just disappeared off the carousel one night. Then, a little later, the carousel started spinning around all by itself in the dead of night, as if it was haunted or something. And then, last week, the roller coaster suddenly stopped in mid-ride for no apparent reason. Nobody was seriously hurt, but the park was shut down until the city knows for sure what caused the accident. I'm here because Paula Santos, the park's owner, is a friend of Dad's. She's putting me up at the Captain's Quarters Hotel, which is next to the park. I'm supposed to head over there right now and meet with a security guard named Harlan Bishop. I hope I don't let Paula down. Wish me luck. Ever yours, Nancy. P.S. There's a rumor going around that the park is cursed. Creepy, huh? Spooky. Alright, well, let's check into our room. A room service menu. All right. Well, I'll be honest. I cannot read any of that small text. So, Got a fish platter, hamburger, fun day. Nice wallpaper. No, oh, finally, my luggage is not locked in this one. Nothing in New Jersey beats the Captain's Cove Amusement Rob Park. Kessler. Here's something created by Ralph Kessler. Cool, cool. Phony. He's a phony. A big fat phony. What do we got on the computer? We got the flag game, which we're not going to play because there's really no point to it. Journal. We'll figure out what's happening. Things to do. Oh, I guess we do have a checklist, although it's it's an automatic checklist, I guess, where it checks it off. You don't get to do it yourself. I'm going mail has been halted. Hello, Nancy. All right, so we do have a checklist of sorts. Well, let's call them room service. <coughs> Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good, use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss... Orin, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Drew? Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? I'd like to order the hamburger platter with milk instead of a soft drink. One hamburger platter with moo juice. It'll be there in a few. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. No prob. Really, Nancy? Milk? Come on, let's live a little. What is it? Hmm. Looks tasty. Hmm. All right. Well, we're all fueled up. Uh, before we go, no. Oh, I was like, "Hello." It's worried the game and locked up on me. Uh, before we go, mysterying. Maybe we should give our boss, Miss Santos, a call. Joe, home, Beth, Paula. Paula Santos. Hello, Miss Santos. It's Nancy Drew. Hello. Have you been out to the park? No, not yet. I thought I'd check in with you first. You're all set. I told the guard at the main gate to keep an eye out for you. His name's Harlan Bishop. All the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action, but please take a good look at the roller coaster even if you can't ride it. First chance I get. Great. Feel free to inspect the tracks all you want. I'm sure you'll do a better job than the police. They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? Well, I'll see what I can do, Miss Santos. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula.
All right. Goodbye, Paula. All right. Well, let's go. Will the young lady who just entered the park please turn immediately and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left? Thank you. Please and enter the whale's mouth directly to her left. Thank you. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gatecrasher. If you think I'm Nancy Drew, you're right. That's a relief. It's too early in the day to go sicking the cops on anybody. I'm Harlan Bishop. Are you the only security guard on duty now? I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed, even agreed to a pay cut. You must really like your job. I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store, department store, you know, as a security guard in Flemington, not around here. How seriously do you think the police are taking this haunting stuff? Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal, and frankly, neither do I. So you think the carousel starts up by itself because some wires got damaged? Makes sense to me. Of course, I'm no expert, and Ingrid swears she can't find anything wrong with the carousel's electrical system. But then, I kind of think she doesn't want to. Who's Ingrid? Ingrid Corey. You'll probably meet her. She's working during the shutdown, too. She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky, new-age, psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, you'll get scurvy or something. Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen. He's the art director. Hardly ever see him. Busy guy. And Joy Trent, park bookkeeper. In fact, she's your next stop. Why's that? Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. That would certainly help. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here, all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did. Stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Spooky. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. Have you tried to prove your screwed up wiring theory? I ain't no cop. But now that you're here, maybe you can prove it for me. I'll see you around. Go get them. Please don't open that. Sorry, bad habit. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy. It would be rude to use my phone now. It would be rude to use my phone now. Okay, fine. Let me make sure she wrote that. Yeah. Well, let's give him a call. Why not? 
Captain's Cove Police Station. Would you hold, please? I'll try again later. Okay, never mind. All right, so we must be here. So it looks like we gotta go in past the carousel and then over past the tile here and the midway to get to Joy. So let's go. Ooh. Hello, are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent, sorry about the mess. So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. Yes, Ms. Santos wants me to have the run of the park. You're wasting your time, you know. What do you mean? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Are you saying she did have something to do with it? I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? But why would she sabotage the roller coaster? She can't make any money with a park shut down. She probably just didn't know the park would be shut down. Have you ever confronted Ms. Santos with your suspicions? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt. Except that glorified <coughs> con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Be that as it may, I'd still like to talk to some of the other employees. Of course. But before I forget, here's your access card. That should get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop. But try not to bug him. Does he not like to be disturbed? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. Hmm, maybe I should give Detective Paris a call. Hidden jewels. Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist. Last off in the night rocket only at Captain's Cove. Alright, sorry, I gotta step outside. The lack of music is killing me. There we go. Now let's continue. used to be a ballroom. How's that for irony? Okay if I peek in here? Go ahead and look around. Excuse all the clutter. I'm still trying to get this place organized. Hmm, looks like stenography. It's a memo about one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. Just pockets it. Okay. I really do need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. Okay. Well, let's go talk to the other two people in the park then. 
here we can make our way over pass on a house to Ingrid Uh, I believe that's mine. Right, sorry. Looking for someone? I'm Nancy Drew. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out why so many weird things have been happening around here lately. Do you have time to talk? Sure. Oh my. You've got B3 issues. Okay. Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some natural peanut butter on a slice of whole wheat bread once a day won't fix. Yeah, anyway. Thanks for the advice. How long have you worked here? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and worked my way up. I've held the supervisory position for the last ten months. Do you have any idea what caused that roller coaster accident? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. So you think this cursed thing is real? The man who carved the horses, Kessler. He said if they were ever separated, bad luck would follow. And it has. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. Any idea why someone would steal a horse off a carousel? Money. I hear they can be very valuable. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Okay. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Uh-oh. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Who are you and what are you doing? Who said uh, that? I said that over here on top of the cabinet. Keep going over here. Please identify yourself. Well, uh, my name is Nancy Drew. Digital representations of your voice and image have been entered into my memory circuits, Nancy Drew. What are you, some kind of security system? I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. What's a magnificent memory machine? It is my turn to ask a question, Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? Elliot Chen is kind of upset with me. I need to write her a note to call him. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So, who programmed you? Responding to the non-joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore.
Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. You know, I just had a thought. There's a newspaper article and photo in Joy's office that I want you to be sure to take a look at. They're in a frame on the wall. I may have seen them. What are they about? They're a little piece of park history. The guy in the photo found a bunch of jewels that had been stolen in a heist years ago and stashed away on one of the rides at Captain's Cove. The police said there was a good chance more jewels would turn up. Has anyone else ever found anything? Not that I know of, but then there's a lot of dishonest people out there. Somebody else may have found something and just never reported it. Anyway, I called the detective that was in charge of the investigation back then. His name is K.J. Paris. He's going to call you. Oops, I gotta run. I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Any idea why he's so far behind? He's a procrastinator. Doesn't really like to work, so he does whatever he can to avoid it. Puts things off to the last minute. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Well, I try. Has he always been behind? I guess he was doing okay up until about a month ago. Way I hear it, if he doesn't get caught up, like, fast... He's going to be waving bye-bye, like, soon. I'll see you around. Knock him dead. Hello? This is Detective K.J. Paris, Captain's Cove Police Department. Paula Santos asked me to call you. Said it concerned that heist out of Captain's Quarters 23 years ago? Yes. Do you by any chance know what happened to the man who pulled off that heist? I oh, he died in prison about a year ago. I never did figure out where he stashed the rest of the loot. Although I'm still convinced it's somewhere in that amusement park. Could he have stashed it in that stolen carousel horse? Which was maybe why it was stolen? Hmm. Never occurred to me, but it's possible, I suppose. I'll tell you what. The thief's name was Chaz Dunning. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. That would be fantastic. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Okay. Well, since we're here, let's check our to-do list. Do, 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 do. Things to do. Ingrams. Note. Oh, um, I think for that one, we have to call, we have to phone a friend, as they say. Um, I think Bess and George have to help us with the stenography. Hello? Hey, Bess, it's Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. <coughs> Whoa, you were obviously hoping I was someone else. Well, kinda. Okay, so who is he and where'd you meet him? Oh, Nancy, his name's Matt, and he is so cute. He works the concession stand at the movie theater in the mall. A cute guy with an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring. Right at his fingertips. We're talking major crush. Hey, George, good. You're there, too. Barely. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. What happened to caller ID, Bess? My parents yanked it. She wouldn't pick up when it was some loser she didn't want to talk to. Her mother got tired of hearing the phone ring all the time. Not all those calls were from losers. Sometimes I was playing hard to get. Anyway, how are things at the amusement park? I need you guys to do something for me. I found some stenography notes that I'd really like to translate, only I don't know shorthand. Say no more. We'll do some research and get right back to you. We will? I barely know how to spell stenography, let alone research it. We'll call you when we're through. We can do this, Bess. What is with all this we stuff? Catch you guys later. Hasta la vista. You're doing great. No. Yeah, I wasn't going to sit there for 15 minutes talking to him about all that stuff. Hopefully they'll look into that and they'll email us on the computer, I believe. 
Locker, uh, oh yeah, roller coaster. I still got to check out that roller coaster. Check email, check out the carousel. So yeah, looks like we need to go look around the park a little bit more. <coughs> like, only the entire reason I'm here is to check out the stuff. Uh, let's start with the carousel. Well, let's check her out. This takes a fun pass. Right. I knew that. Let's go for a spin on the carousel. By the way, you have four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride. Ha ha. The carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Okay. Interesting. I'm guessing that means my game is going to stop working now. Okay, um, it's not letting me re-maximize. So, I guess we're going to have to I alt tab back into it. No. All right, well. Hmm. Well, just sit tight for a second. I am going to, I guess we're going to have to close that out and restart the game. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to restart the game, unfortunately. Uh, hopefully that's not a game-breaking bug, but uh, let me... I'm going to put you guys on hold for just a second, and I'm going to go search up and see what I can figure out. We might not be able to do this if that's going to happen every time, but we'll see, because you, you do actually have to ride the carousel to finish the game. So, hold tight. BRB. Okay, we're back. Um, I wasn't able to find anything on the internet about 
a particular crash at that point in the game. But um, I did verify my Steam files, and two of the files it said were bad and had to re-download, so... Give me a second, we will, I guess, just start our game over from the beginning, and then hopefully not crash when we get to that point. Nope, and I gotta swap you guys back over so you can see too. Alright, so yeah, I guess we'll just start over and then quickly just try to get back. Let's see, I didn't didn't save any here, so. Welcome to my latest case. Dear Ned, well, here I am at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Little trick there, click in the top left, learn that from Speedrunner. Okay. So let's just, uh, yeah, speedrun. Well, from the way you just marched right on in here past all those sorry we're closed signs, you're either who I think you are or you're one determined gate crasher. You must be Harlan. Paula Santa said you'd be expecting me. Which means you must be Nancy Drew, famous teen detective. And you're the security guard. The only security guard, sounds like. I begged Miss Santos to keep me on while the park's closed, even agreed to a pay cut. So you're not intimidated by all this curse stuff? Somebody swiped the horse off a carousel and now it's malfunctioning. The police don't think it's that big a deal, and frankly, neither do I. So you think the carousel starts up by itself because some wires got damaged? Makes sense to me. Of course, I'm no expert, and Ingrid swears she can't find anything wrong with the carousel's electrical system. But then, I kind of think she doesn't want to. Why do you say that? She's the park's chief engineer. Believes in all this wacky, new-age, psychobiogenic stuff. Like if you eat food served by a waiter who's in a bad mood, You'll get scurvy or something. Is anyone else in the park now? Elliot Chen. He's the art director. Hardly ever see him. Busy guy. And Joy Trent, park bookkeeper. In fact, she's your next stop. Why's that? Miss Santos's orders. Joy pays all the bills so she knows pretty much everything that's going on. Plus, she'll give you an access card. Miss Santos wants you to have the run of the place. Then I guess I'll go meet Joy. Wait, hang on. I know Joy won't give you one of these, so I will. Here you go. It's a Captain's Cove fun card. Let's you ride the rides and play the games on the midway. Come back to me if you burn through that one and need another. Why wouldn't Joy give me one of these? Well, see, Joy's just kind of joyless. It had never occurred to her that you might want to have some fun while you're here. Of course, she's a newbie too, like me. Maybe she'll come around. Anyway, here's a map of the park. I put an X where Joy's office is. I see you have a security camera trained on the carousel. Does that mean you got the theft of that carousel horse on tape? We didn't start monitoring the carousel until after the theft, but we do have one of those so-called hauntings on tape. Want to see it? That'd be great! I got the tape right here all queued up. I played it for the police. Like I said before, they weren't real impressed. There's no sound, on the tape at least. The band organ started up when the carousel did, stayed on for about 30 seconds, then stopped. Did you notice that burst of static just before the carousel started to turn? Probably just a glitch in the tape. We use them over and over. I'll see you around. Go get them. The phone number for the police. That might come in handy. Please don't open that. Sorry, bad habit. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Paula Santos. I was wondering when I'd hear from you. Have you been out to the park? Yes, I have. I forgot to tell you, all the rides are shut down except for the carousel. I thought you might need to see it in action. But please, take a good look at the roller coaster even if you can't ride it. First chance I get. Great. Feel free to inspect the tracks all you want. I'm sure you'll do a better job than the police. They looked around for five minutes, then left. Said as long as the insurance company was going to investigate, why should they? I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I can't wait to hear what you turn up. Call me as often as you like. My phone's on and with me 24-7. Oh, and one more thing. Call me Paula. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Hello. Are you Nancy? Yes, I am. You're Joy? Joy Trent. Sorry about the mess. 
So, I'm supposed to give you an access card. Yes, Ms. Santos wants me to have the run of the park. You're wasting your time, you know. What do you mean? You're only here because it makes it look like Paula Santos had nothing to do with any of this curse garbage. Sounds like you're not much of a believer when it comes to curses. I just know greed when I see it, that's all. I've seen how Paula runs the park. All she wants is to get more and more people through that gate. And what better way to do that than with a carousel that's allegedly haunted? Is Ms. Santos aware of the way you feel about her? Of course not. I don't want to get fired. Besides, nobody's been hurt, except that glorified con artist who claims his neck got injured, Lance Huffington. And the truth is, Paula offered me this job because she knew I needed the money. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. My father died recently. His estate is in bankruptcy. He used to be co-owner of the park. Two years ago, he suffered a huge financial setback, and he had to sell his share to Paula. When he died two months ago, he was flat broke. Paula could have bailed him out, but she didn't. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. Right. Um, I'm supposed to get an access card from you? Here you go. That should get you into all the private areas of the park. But if you run into problems, don't come to me. Ask the chief engineer, Ingrid Corey. Her office is by the haunted house. The only other people in the park right now are Harlan Bishop and the art director, Elliot Chin. His studio is right by the treasure chest souvenir shop, but try not to bug him. Does he not like to be disturbed? He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Ms. Santos has been getting on my case about it. Well, I think you have everything, so if you'll excuse me? Oh, right. Uh, thanks for all your help. Uh, sorry if I disturbed you. Hmm, maybe I should give Detective Paris a call. Hidden jewels. Maybe that's what whoever stole that carousel horse was after. Jewels from that heist. That. The Alliance Huffington article. Look at the haunted mansion. The haunted house used to be a ballroom. How's that for irony? Come over here, grab the. Okay, if I peek in here, go ahead. Hmm. Looks like stenography. It's a memo yeah, about man. one of the carousel horses being sold. I wonder which horse. Maybe I could help you find whatever it is you seem to be looking for. Looking for someone? If you're Ingrid Corey, not anymore. That's me. Ordinarily, I don't do the hands-on work, and I'd be able to shake your hand, Ms. My name's Nancy Drew. Ms. Santos asked me to do an informal investigation of the roller coaster accident, and... Uh, why are you looking at me like that? You've got B3 issues. Okay. Vitamin B3. Niacin. The vibe you're giving off tells me you're low. Nothing that some Nancy natural says, peanut butter on a slice cool of whole anyway. bread once a day won't fix. Thanks for the advice. How long have you worked here? A little less than two years. I started out in maintenance and worked my way up. I've held the supervisory position for the last ten months. Do you have any idea what caused that roller coaster accident? Someone stole a horse off the carousel and now the park is cursed. So you think this cursed thing is real? The man who carved the horses, Kessler, he said if they were ever separated, bad luck would follow. And it has. How well do you know Harlan Bishop? I know he's an ex-bouncer from Trenton. I also know it drives him nuts that this is one of the few places in the park he doesn't have a key for. Do you mind having to work during the shutdown? Not a bit. Keeping those card readers functioning is practically a full-time job all by itself. Plus, I happen to adore my job. Could I see the blueprints of the roller coaster so you can show me exactly where on the track it stopped? I've looked all over for those blueprints and can't find them anywhere. I'm sure one of the other engineers knows where they are, but I'm afraid I don't. Sorry. Thanks for your help. You bet. Hang on, I'll be right with you. Take your time. Uh-oh. Out. And do not come back unless and until Joy Trent calls me. Okay? Okay. Who are you and what are you doing? Who said that? I said that over here on top of the cabinet. Keep going over here. Please identify yourself. Well, uh, my name is Nancy Drew. 
digital representations of your voice and image have been entered into my memory circuits, Nancy Drew. What are you, some kind of security system? I am Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. I receive and process video and audio input and make appropriate pre-programmed verbal responses. What's a magnificent memory machine? It is my turn to ask a question, Nancy Drew. Why are you here when Joy is not? As a matter of fact, I need to leave a message for her. There is a pad for leaving messages on the desk. So, who programmed you? Responding to the non-Joy entity is an unnecessary drain on my power units and is heretofore disallowed. What does that mean? Hello? Miles? I guess it means he's not going to talk to me anymore. I can use this to leave a note for Joy to call Elliot. Hmm, looks like Joy's a pencil chewer. Mm, that's it. Let's go for a spin on the carousel. By the way, you have four fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride! Ha ha! The Not carousel sure, but I will think be I may have to skip three that. Seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! There we go. That's what's supposed to happen last time. Alright, so... About ten minutes later, we're back on track. Um, there is a game over here, though, which I'm gonna try to show you guys. Get ready. the carousel. I was trying to grab the brass ring and reach too far. You were what? It's kind of a long story. Uh-oh. I have to hang up now. They want to x-ray my head. I should probably come down there and have my head examined too. What was I thinking, asking you to play detective? Well, I know what I'm thinking now. You're off the case. Bazinga. The carousel will be starting in three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. Yeehaw! So, the trick is, don't click a million times. Here comes the brass ring. Get ready. Gotcha! Just once. No point in trying to grab more than one of them either. So yeah, we can use it to get a free ride, although technically we have unlimited fun passes, so we can get a free ride anytime we want anyway. Um roller coaster. Hello? Hi Nancy, it's Paula Santos. You know, I just had a thought. Yeah, There's a newspaper article it. and photo oh. in Joy's office that I want you to be sure to take a look at. They're in a frame on the wall. I may have seen them. What are they about? They're a little piece of park history. The guy in the photo found a bunch of jewels that had been stolen in a heist years ago and stashed away on one of the rides at Captain's Cove. The police said there was a good chance more jewels would turn up. Has anyone else ever found anything? Not that I know of, but then there's a lot of dishonest people out there. Somebody else may have found something and just never reported it. Anyway, I called the detective that was in charge of the investigation back then. His name is KJ Paris. He's going to call you. Oops, I gotta run. I just wanted to give you a heads up. All right. Goodbye, Paula. I wonder what the deal is with this red tag. Mm -hmm. 
I wonder what the deal is this with this red an employee tag. access card. It's locked. It's locked. Hey, Nancy, what's up? The card reader outside the roller coaster doesn't work. It's got this red tag on it. Means the power's been shut off. Ingrid must be working on it. Go talk to her. She probably took a break to go meditate and forgot what she was doing. Does that sort of thing happen a lot with her? Oh, yeah. And good luck finding her. These mind relaxation breaks of hers sometimes last for hours. I'll see you around. Go get them. Hello? This is Detective K.J. Paris, Captain's Cove Police Department. Paula Santos asked me to call you. Said a concern that heist out at Captain's Quarters 23 years ago? Yes. Do you by any chance know what happened to the man who pulled off that heist? I oh, he died in prison about a year ago. I never did figure out where he stashed the rest of the loot. Although I'm still convinced it's somewhere in that amusement park. Could he have told somebody else where he stashed it? Like a cellmate or something? Well, sure. That's possible. I see what you're getting at. That carousel horse may have been stolen because he told somebody he'd stash some loot inside it. I'll tell you what, the thief's name was Chaz Dunning. I'll make some calls, try to see if there was somebody he confided in before he died. Somebody who was recently released. That would be fantastic. Well, as soon as I know something, you'll know something. Thanks, Detective Paris. It was great talking to you. Ditto. Hello, Nancy. Still on the case, I see. I'd like to take a closer look at the roller coaster, but the access card reader has been red tagged. Harlan says it's because you're working on it. Right. I was in the process of upgrading its main circuitry board. I'm afraid you're going to have to wait until I finish here. Unless you'd like to do it for me. I'm game, but needless to say, I've never done it before. It's not exactly brain surgery. All you have to do is follow the schematic inside the reader. Here's the new macro resistor. When you see the board, you'll be able to see where it goes. You'll need to solder it in place, which means you're going to have to get my soldering gun from Elliot Chen. Here's the engineering handbook I put together. If you have questions about park-related electronics, it'll answer them. Keep it as long as you like. When you're all done, remove the red tag and take it to Harlan. That way, he'll know it's safe to turn the power back on to the reader. That's not my cell phone. It must be yours. Are you going to answer it? No, that would be rude. I'll just call them back. So, once you get that tool from Elliot, you should be all set. Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Let's see if Elliot's not mad at us anymore. Well, Miss Destructo returns. I'm really sorry about what happened before. These things happen. So. I hear you're out to solve the curse of Captain's Cove. What do you think caused the roller coaster accident? That was no accident. It was sabotage. Why do you say that? Because I'm pulling your leg, that's why. Come on, what do I know? I'm just an artist. Go ask our naturopathic engineer person. The way I hear it, the shutdown is a good thing. For you, at least. You mean because I'm behind in my work? I'd be lying if I said the shutdown wasn't helping me get caught up. Meeting deadlines has never been my forte. But I certainly hope you're not suggesting that I arranged for the park to be shut down by somehow manufacturing this curse thing, because that would be ridiculous. Ingrid said you have her soldering gun. I need to get it from you, if that's okay. You bet. Here you go. Been meaning to return it to her, but I've been a little busy. Great. Thanks. Do you see much of the other people who are working during the shutdown? Like Joy Trent or that security guard, Harlan Bishop? Nah. Joy Trent, she's like invisible even when she's visible, if you get my drift. And that rent -a cop I've got no desire to see anything of him. Why do you say that? Dude is way too eager to make my business his business, that's all. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. All right, so we're back on track. Mind if I look at this? No, go right ahead. A book on carousel. Cool.
60 board feet. That's a lot of wood. Take it. I can use this to measure. Have some of these tissue strips? Be my guest. I can use this to measure. Okay, well, let's go see if we can fix the roller coaster. Gives him a bobber, it goes right there. I think we just go like so. Whoops. No. Can't see. There, that looks right. Control all bingo. Believe me. Trying to read through that manual is just gonna give us a headache. Hey Nancy, what's up? Could you turn the power back on to the card reader outside the roller coaster? It's all fixed. Here's the tag. You bet. I'll just switch the circuit back on and you'll be all set. What did you mean when you said you were a newbie? I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. I figured staying on while the park was closed would help me get up to speed on all the equipment and such. I'm afraid I got off on the wrong foot with Elliot. I spilled paint all over something he'd been working on. Ooh, not good. The guy's already about a month behind in his work. Where did you work before you came here? Oh, I worked in a store. Department store. You know, as a security guard. In Flemington. Not around here. I'll see you around. Sounds good. Okay. Well, let's go check out uh, the roller coaster, shall we? This looks like one of Joy's. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, time to leave and nothing bad's going to happen. Ow! I'm trapped! Uh-oh! To get my foot loose, I need to switch the track somehow. To get foot loose, you're gonna have to listen to Kevin Bacon. Sorry, bad joke. Hey, Rin Rin, how's it going? Now, I'm sure if I just stand here staring at my foot, it'll just get out on its own, right? And nothing bad will happen. But also, like, this doesn't even look like it's connected. Like, if a it came down here there's there's a huge gap right here like how does that work no oh, well thanks i'm glad you like my joke because that's about all you're getting out of this stream is dad jokes <laughs> boy this early was really takes its time doesn't it looks like i have to reconnect these wires hmm. That one looks like ketchup. There's actually two ways you can die here. You can you can get run over by the roller coaster if you take too long, which you really got to take a long time, clearly. Or uh, you can uh, you can also get electrocuted by this if you turn there the power on to test it. These. I better hurry. Yeah. Thanks, Nancy. If you turn the power on to test it, and then it's not right, you have, and then you have to turn the power back off before you disconnect the wires, otherwise you also die. Man. Did this thing just kill me already? I 
Nancy, you're gonna have to turn around, throw the pencil at the E stop. You got hit by a moving roller coaster? My foot was stuck and I couldn't get out of the way. How could your foot get stuck? Are your feet that big? <laughs> no. Someone trapped my foot and started the coaster up deliberately. And you've broken how many bones? Uh, let's just say it's going to be a while before I can resume my investigation. You were supposed to put an end to these accidents, not cause more of them. In case you hadn't guessed, you're off the case. Rip a roni. All right, let's try that Ow! again. I'm trapped. Uh oh. To get my foot loose, <sighs> looks like I have to reconnect these wires. Red. Green, now blue. I can turn the power. There are six ways to connect these. I'll just have to try them all. That's not right. So red is not on the bottom. Let's try red in the middle. That's still not right. There we go. Yeah. Not today, Mr. Shark. Not today. Okay, well, let's see if Joy's here. She's got some explaining to do. Need something? Do you by any chance know how to read shorthand? That's right. Sorry, sure don't. We gotta, we gotta talk to the girls about that one. Um, in case you did miss it, uh, Rin Rin, we played about 40 minutes or so of the game, and then when we went to get on the carousel, it crashed. Um, so I had to, like, basically restart the game from the beginning, and I, I went and verified my files, and I was missing a couple, so hopefully that's what the problem was. Hopefully we don't crash again, but we did have to redo, like, the first 40 minutes of the game, so there's a couple things, apparently, that I missed, so I... I gotta got remember to go back and do the things that I already did in the first part. Um. Someone activated the roller coaster while I was standing on the tracks just now. I barely managed to escape. Really? Are you sure it was on purpose? Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch or something. It was no accident. Does this pencil I found by the tracks look familiar? That looks like one of mine. But I didn't leave it there. I mean... Just because you found one of my pencils, that hardly proves I'm guilty of something. Joy, while you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. You were snooping around in here? Well, I was leaving you a note. You know, to call Elliot. An analysis of sensory input shows that the Nancy Drew entity entered the immediate area during your absence and exhibited non-random seeking behavior. All right, I was snooping. And now if you don't mind answering a question from me, what is that? My father was a frustrated inventor. After he died, I discovered that in his study. In his will, he said he made it just for me. I don't have room in my apartment, so I brought him here. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. As you noticed, he can be kind of a blabbermouth. The word blabbermouth is without meaning to Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Does he do anything else besides blabber? My father said he invented Miles in order to reacquaint me with my childhood. It always bothered him that I was never as happy-go-lucky as he was. What am I, Miles? Joy Trent is a party-pooping stick in the mud. So my father programmed him with a bunch of riddles designed to reconnect me with long-lost memories from my childhood. That sounds fascinating. I don't see it that way at all. I don't want to relive my childhood. My mother died when I was four. My mother died when I was really young, too. Maybe I could help you. I should be mad that you were snooping around in here. But the truth is, I think it's neat that you're so gutsy. Especially since I'm so not gutsy. Oh, what the heck? Okay, Miles, let's hear the first riddle. Here is the first riddle. Listen carefully. To be told a truth long since put away, bring me the silvery remains of a four-bit day. 
I have no idea what he's talking about. I knew it would be a waste of time. Maybe it'll ring a bell with somebody else. I'll ask around. Do what you want, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Okay. Now we gotta call the ladies and ask them about stenography. Yeah, he's a dial too. You know what they Hello? say about stitches? Hey, Bess, it's Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. Whoa, you were obviously hoping I was someone else. Well, kinda. Okay, so who is he and where'd you meet him? Oh, Nancy, his name's Matt, and he is so cute. He works the concession stand at the movie theater in the mall. A cute guy with an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring. Right at his fingertips. We're talking major crush. Hey, George, good. You're there, too. Barely. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. What happened to caller ID, Bess? My parents yanked it. She wouldn't pick up when it was some loser she didn't want to talk to. Her mother got tired of hearing the phone ring all the time. Not all those calls were from losers. Sometimes I was playing hard to get. Anyway, how are things at the amusement park? I need you guys to do something for me. I found some stenography notes that I'd really like to translate, only I don't know shorthand. Say no more. We'll do some research and get right back to you. We will? I barely know how to spell stenography, let alone research it. We'll call you when we're through. We can do this, Bess. What is with all this we stuff? Catch you guys later. Be careful. Good luck. All right. So let's go ask Elliot about this riddle. See if he knows anything. Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream. Know that? Come in. Ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. I found this receipt on the floor. Looks like you bought a lot of basswood recently. I'll take that. Thank you. I know you're busy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle? I love riddles. Okay, let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay, now, if two-bit means worth a quarter, four-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? Captain's quarters day. Day, spelled D-A-E, as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for like centuries. Comes with a souvenir spoon, silvery, as in spoon, get it? Elliot, you're a genius. Next riddle, come on. I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. I'll let you get back to work. Rock on. And I'm disappointed we had to start over too because in the first game I actually went and ordered like a hamburger before we started our investigation, you know. Not this time now. Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good. Use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. So, Miss Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Drew? Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? I heard that there's a Sunday called a fun day that I can only get at this hotel. Could I order one? 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day souvenir spoon coming right up. Anything else? That's it. Thanks a lot. Saving you has been a pleasure. Oh, that was so good. Interesting. Very interesting. Ah, uh, while we're here, let's first save our game. Let's double check our task list. Okay, two hundred spoon to miles, ingrins, mount, and oh. Okay, yeah, we do still have to check out the carousel, that's right, because we wrote it, but we didn't actually go in and investigate it, so we should remember to do that while we're there, too. In fact, why don't we do that first? Hello? Hi, Nance. We found some stuff on stenography. 
Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay, George found most of it. Surprise, surprise. But I helped. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you gotta promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. Really, 2800 isn't a lot for ice cream? I guess I don't know, but it sounds like a lot. Mm -hmm. Off kiss. Hmm. This takes an employee access card. No. No, my access card. Hello? Okay. Chill out, game. I don't need to crash that on me again. Well, let's talk to... We have to talk to Ingrid. Hello? Now Hi, what? Nancy. KJ Paris. I got some preliminary info on that jewel thief. You know Chaz Dunning? Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. Does anyone know where he is now? Well, the parole board's supposed to. I've got a call in to them. I don't have his name yet, but I got a description of the guy. Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just mm -hmm. thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. That sounds like somebody we know. Of course. Like, half the people in this game have a thick it's Jersey locked. accent. There's no nine. Darn. Okay, well, that's a dead end for the moment. Uh, maybe Harlan? <gasps> He's also gone. One zero one one nine zero. Let me write that down. I got the tape right here. Oh, cute. I don't want to watch the VHS. Else I can do here though. I need a tape. Oh. Hey, Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. A Nancy Burger. Hold. That's the kind of appointment you should write down. You don't want to miss that. Missing the two for one. What's a Nancy on Burger? Mm, I'll just play it and find out. I need a tape. Don't even start with me, Nancy. Zoom in enhance. It looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. Zero seven two six. I better put this back where I found it. Nah. Oops, better not leave until I put that tape back. Oops. Thank goodness I don't need to put the combination in there twice. See? We're modernizing. Okay, um, well, I guess, well, we can go to Ingrid's now. Wow. Call L.H. about results. L.H. Lance Huffington, maybe? Snoop, 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 snoop.
Wow, that's one expensive watch. That's as almost as many calories as in a Sunday. No, just kidding. Um, why don't we make some calls? Call LH and then that other number that Harlan had. Uh, yeah, let's call Louie G. State Board of Parole, Louis Scarra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. Is Mr. Guerra a parole officer? That's correct, but he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Guerra's. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I didn't say that, but when was he paroled, do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Um, and then LH. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Sir. Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? She asked me to call you for a status report. Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> at least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Sus. So, apparently Harlan is an ex-con, which is interesting, and apparently Ingrid has been talking with the guy who hurt his neck on the roller coaster. Also interesting. Uh, let's go talk to Joy. Hello? Now what? Hi, it's Paula. Just thought I'd check in, see how you're doing. <sighs> Can't take Actually, two steps I'm around glad here. You called. Why? What's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. You do? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Any luck? I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. I have one right here. Give it to Miles and see what happens. Lay it on me. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be microwaving metal, Miles. Uh, I don't think that's very safe. The scan is complete. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Don't you have a picture of her? You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your grief came out as anger. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I did that? No. My father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh. I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. You've probably forgotten everything about that time in your life because it was just too painful to remember. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. That is why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. It's just a blank piece of paper. You and your mother used to love to play this game, Joy. 
Once again, I have no idea what he's talking about. Don't give up yet. If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your help. Okay. Well, I know what we're going to do with this. We're going to take it in here. Hello. Thank you. We're going to iron it. Which is interesting. I don't. If something was written the with lemon juice. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. Uh, by the way, here's another game over. Hello? This is Paula Santos. I'm standing outside what's left of the Captain's Quarters Hotel. <laughs> what happened? Well, according to the fire marshal, someone left an iron on in your room and burned the place down. Oh no, I forgot to turn it off. You're at an amusement park, not a formal dance. What on earth were you ironing? A piece of paper. A what? No, never mind. I don't want to hear it. When I asked you to come out here, I expected to pay for your room, not the entire hotel. Consider yourself off the case. rip a All right, try again. There we go. I need to turn the iron on. No, you don't, Nancy. Believe me. You do not need to turn the iron on. Uh, let's check our task list again. That's right here. Uh, access card. Yeah, we need to talk to somebody about. The... Oh, that's right. While we're here, we should check our emails from. Uh, Steno info. Here we go. Oh boy. We can just go in here and type in what is the name of the horse? Uh, uh, I'm just going to take a picture of this and then I'm going to go look in the lesson and figure out what this word is. I'm, I'm not sure you might actually have to do all the lessons before to let you type it in, but I don't think it does. I think you can just... All right, let's just go skip to the review. Okay, so that's... Uh -huh. The name of the carousel horse is Glory. There we go. Yeah, apparently, I guess we have to finish that one lesson before to let us. Cool. So that's done. Um, what else on the task list? Alright, so that's all done. So we just have to. Yeah, 
figure out the access codes for that. Talk to Ingrid and enjoy it. So let's let's go. Let's go. Yeah, sorry, I came here hoping to learn about sonography, but I'm not gonna spend it. If this was a normal playthrough, I would, but since we lost like 45 minutes at the start of the stream, I don't really want to spend a bunch of extra time on it. So if you were curious about stenography, you know, feel free to watch somebody else's playthrough or, you know, just, just go to Google. I'm sure there's lessons out there. Uh, okay, angry. Ah, uh, what? This is Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was in? He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. He was paroled five weeks ago. Was he ever at New Jersey State Prison? No, ma'am. Did he ever have a cellmate named Chaz Dunning? No, ma'am. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? No, that's pretty much what I know, too. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Good day, then. Bye. Ha. Hello, gotcha. Nancy. How goes it? I don't seem to be having much luck using my access card. Am I doing something wrong? I deactivated most of the readers because of the shutdown. Soon as I get done here, I'll get them online again. Sorry. Hey, if you come across a pair of pliers, hang on to them, okay? Mine are missing. Someone must have walked off with them. I understand that you know the man who got hurt in that roller coaster accident, Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really know him. What did you talk to him about? Look, what are you getting at? I was just wondering if maybe you and he are in cahoots. Are you suggesting that he and I planned the accident? He gets on the coaster, I shut off the power, he cries whiplash and gives me half of whatever he gets from the lawsuit? Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? Yeah, press X to doubt on that one. Because you seem to have a lot of money, far more than the park pays you. I can't help but wonder where it's coming from. All right. I have been making money on the side. But it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This guy knows I'm taking a risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside, which I just happened to see. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do. Wow. Okay, so we did that. Um, what let us in here now? Yay. Guess I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. Okay. Looks like the same, at least the rope does, the same trapdoor from uh, what I mentioned, the one that goes when you try to pull it open up in the attic. <sighs> Time to start crawling. This goes to the space underneath the carousel. Wow, very observant, Nancy. Wonder what that is. If I don't move, I'm gonna get skewered. Oh no! Right. Oh man, no. No message for that one? I mean, I guess if you got impaled, wait under there, nobody probably ever finds you. Wonder what that is? If I don't move, I'm gonna get skewered! There's something up there. Looks like a letter. Hmm. 
You're right. I can't reach it. Well, I know where we have to go now. Let's go to the midway, because we need to get a prize out of here. Uh, we actually need several prizes. We need this prize, and we need this prize, which means we need... Yeah, basically one of every token. Which sucks, because we're going to have to fix this, and we're going to have to play these games, which both kind of suck. This one is pretty bad. This one's okay. This one is basically, uh, you remember the... Uh, the uh, Mayan ball game at the end of uh, Scarlet Hand where you gotta throw the ball through the hoop and you have to adjust. It's basically that game again. So it's basically just random guessing. If I play this game, I can win an anchor. You're about to play Squid Toss. By the way, you have three fun credits left on your card. Catapult the squid through the hoop. promise this game is not as easy as I am making it look. I promise it's not normally that easy, I just have seen it played a lot of times, so I remember. Okay, uh, this one is basically... We call this game Swimmer Rich. By the way, you have one fun credit left on your card. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. No, this is... never mind, this is not the hard game, this is the fun one. This is basically the, uh, sliding block puzzle from Final Scene, reused. Basically, if it's a bloop bloop, slide everything around. Boom. It's out of order. Well, I can at the very least get this one. Hmm. What job? All right, so I'm gonna have to. Well, let's go back here. Actually, let's save. was a door to Kessler's workshop by the radiator in what's now the haunted house. Interesting. 
We've actually never been to the haunted house. Why don't we go investigate that area? Spooky. Reminds me of the scene from uh, Finding Nemo, the anglerfish. That was a pretty scary scene for a kids' movie. Now that I think about it. What is that noise? Sounds like it's coming from below. Nice 1990s blocky keyboard. <laughs> Now this is one ride I actually wish you could go on, which you can't. That symbol looks familiar. Zap. It's locked. It's locked. Well, I guess there's nothing else we can do in here. Up to maybe, maybe she knows why the midway games aren't working. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fixed that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. Did you know that the man who carved the carousel horses had a workshop under what's now the haunted house? How appropriate. Considering Kessler's belief in the supernatural and all. I heard some strange sounds the last time I was in there. They seem to be coming from below. That's odd. I've been doing a lot of work in there lately and I haven't heard any strange noises. So either your ears are better than mine, or your imagination is. Uh, yeah, Miss B3 issues. I, I don't think that's the case. Any advice on how to go about fixing the Midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard. And unfortunately, I have no idea where it is. One of my guys probably left it in the park somewhere. Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. Uh, yeah. I'll get right on that. Okay. Uh, nope, not there. Uh, here. So let's go... Yeah, she's like, oh, well, just reprogram it, Nancy. Like, come on, it's, it's how obvious. Okay, uh, we're going to need this. Okay, um, 5200. We're going to need to write that down. Rollmeister Arcades, another Rollmeister product. There's one for that Nancy Drew bingo. Yeah, one of the, the streamers I watch, uh, uh, Gab Smolders. Uh, she has a, well, it's not hers, but she has a, she always links to it when she plays a, a Nancy Drew Bingo. So, like, you can play along and, like, check off stuff as you see it, try to get bingo. It's full of classic Nancy tropes and stuff. It's funny. The keyboard is missing. Not anymore. Okay. Uh, well, better read the instructions. <laughs> yeah, here's a little, another little Easter egg here. Got this done, but had to fight the power relay switch to work right. Nick F. So shout out to Nicholas Falcone and his catchphrase, fight the power. You know, from uh, final scene. I think it's funny. And I never noticed that either until somebody else pointed it out to me. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Mr. Uh, camo shirt and khaki shorts. All right, after. So just about Use the keyboard, da, da, da. add the word super to the upgrade function, and enter the serial number as a parameter. So if it was Pong, yeah, we, we see what you did there. And it was UB4700, it would be Super Pong, UB4700 is a parameter. Okay. So we just need to go. Super Barnacle Blast, and then KM5200. Beep, up, boop. It is fixed. And that's exactly how programming works, kids. Trust me. 
This takes a fun pass. Right, right, the fun pass. Welcome to Barnacle Blast! Uh-oh, you are using your last fun credit, so I'm keeping your card. But don't worry, you can always get a new one. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship! Yeah. So this is the game that kind of sucks. It's basically... I don't know what you call it, Brick Breaker or whatever, but what sucks is you have to use the keyboard to play it. You can't use your mouse. If you could use your mouse, it would be a pretty easy game, but no, you just have to use the keyboard. So yeah, uh, definitely not gonna choose hard for this. I wonder if you play on Senior, does it only give you the option? Yeah, the mouse doesn't do anything. They should, they should add like a, a modification that would let you use your mouse because that would make it so much easier. But yeah, we just gotta break the bricks and not, not die. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go back. See what I mean? I tried to move half a centimeter to the right and then went 50 feet. No, no. Sorry if you're chatting right now, but I must devote 100% concentration to this. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Okay. We're real close. Oh. Yes, yes. Okay, one more. We can do it. No, nope. get it. Okay. Yeah, see, Runner knows what's up. You won the shell token. Oh, well. Why would I keep playing if I've won the shell token? Oh, er. No, that's right. There's two tokens from this one. So you need to beat both of the levels to get both tokens. So I was like, well, why don't I just back out? But I'm like, no, there's actually two that you need from this. Pretty good. Be the ball. Come on, you are right there. Okay, tease it. Oh, really? God. See? This, that, that is why this game sucks. F's in the chat. Don't, don't reach out. Focus on the game. I'm not going to try it in a certain direction. I'm just going to keep it bouncing. Eventually it'll hit there. Just like the DVD logo eventually hitting the corner of the screen. 
We'll get there. Just have to be patient. Don't mess it up. We can do it. If this was not a family-friendly stream, I would have some extremely choice words for this game right now. And like I said, it would just be so much easier if you could use the actual mouse for this and didn't have to use the left and right arrows on the keyboard. Because it's just so finicky. At least it seems to be giving me unlimited tries, which is nice. Some of the games on this arcade midway, uh, if you fail too many times, it just kicks you out and then uh, uses up your fun passes. And if you use up all your fun passes, you have to go back to Harlan and get another card, which, I mean, you can go back infinite number of times. It's just kind of annoying that you have to leave and go all the way back to get more but we're actually doing pretty good this time but hey i've said that before and look how it's turned out okay. all right last one just keep the ball bouncing it'll get there eventually just be patient we got this yes <laughs> yeah the foghorn definitely doesn't make things any better all right, Whew. so we've won both tokens. Thank freaking goodness. I'm gonna save that because... I do not wanna have to do that again. Okay, so now we can buy... See, normally you put your money in first and then you pick what you want, but I guess this machine has it backwards. Play something, Nancy. All right, cool. Uh, let's go back to Joy. Any luck? There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. I think a mouth organ is a harmonica. Correct. The music you hear when you ride the Captain's Cove carousel comes from the band organ that sits inside the rider platform. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. If you can't remember anything, this is going to be impossible. I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third roll. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. <sighs> it's all yours, detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be right here. That reminds me, we do need to make a phone call now. Hopefully... We can actually talk to this person. Sometimes when you call them too early, you just get their answering machine. Uh, do we... Yes, I have the number. Yeah, yeah, yeah some kind of PTSD, I yes, guess. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. So why are you calling me? I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? That's kind of where the long story part comes in. I haven't got time for long stories. Besides, how do I know you even know Miss Santos? Look, if you want to call her, I've got her number right here. I didn't drive 900 miles into the Canadian wilderness to call my boss. Anyway, I can't help you. I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're going to find out is to play it. Where is the third roll? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. You mean the one that's locked? 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Shaplow River is right here on the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, and I gotta go! Oh, 
Okay, anyway. Must be it. Yoink. This looks a the take up Dow is broken. Oh man. Well, let's take uh, the take up Dow. See if Mr. Ellie can help us out. All right, break time. You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? As long as you're here, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess, I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Will do. Uh, fun Easter egg in here. That's a Poppy Dada. Yep. Penelope Dada from Scarlet Hand. Seahorse. All right. Let's do some... Oh, what's in here? Those look like horse tails. They sure do, Nancy. Let's slap that down there. Okay, so... From one to two and a half, then it's thin until uh, 11? Well, probably 11 and a half, I guess. And then there's a notch at 12. Okay. That should be everything we need to know. This guy's number down. Maybe I should too. Let me actually call him right now, because otherwise I'm going to forget. Sukov. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the Collector's Hot Sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I wondered if you could answer a question or two for me. I'd be delighted. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is, but Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot, the place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Hmm. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Do you have any idea why someone would be going to the trouble of making the carousel turn on and off by itself? As a matter of fact, I do. I think that someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, 
there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about Makes stolen sense. property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking yes, about Nancy. the black yes, market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. Ooh, Thanks for all the info. Always happy to share my mental wealth. Nice. Anyway, let's go and grab a piece of wood first. Slap this on here. No, Nancy. Come on. You're in the hospital with a piece of wood in your eye? <laughs> <laughs> Several pieces, actually, but the doctors got most of them out. I used Elliot's lathe without wearing eye protection. <laughs> Never do that again. Why were you using Elliot's lathe? I was making a new dowel for the band organ. I'm beginning to think being cursed is nothing compared to having you around. You're off the case. <laughs> uh, another hilarious game over. Okay. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. Like you can see the future, Nancy. Or your Deadpool and break the fourth wall. All right, so let's see. We want to groove at two and a half inches. So let's try here. Yeah, I mean. Perfect. That's good. So then... Let's try here. I think that's good. Inches, we need a groove. Let's try this. That looks perfect. Perfect. Better leave these goggles here. Yeah, we wouldn't want somebody else to lose an eye, would we? Tape them to the pipes. Well, I don't I need have to tape it. them to the pipes. I need to tape these down. I don't have any tape, Nancy. What do you want me to do? Jeez. Okay, uh, let's go look. What Elliot had the tape? There's tape there, but that's like not the right one for some reason. What's going on? I noticed you have a Poppy Dada. We met at an art show last year. She insisted I take that piece home with me. She'd never admit it, but she thinks I'm hot. Okay, that's a little weird. Isn't she like a 15-year-old girl or something? Uh, I'm I'll let go. you get back to work. Thanks a lot. Uh, yeah, you're, you're welcome. 
feel like I need a shower for some reason. Okay, uh, where did we, where did we get tape? Is it in here? And there's a tape dispenser. Sorry. Hmm. It was uh, was a joy. Thing. Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. <laughs> But no cigar. Maybe I should go listen to the tune again and come back later. We will be waiting. Yeah, I actually just wanted to ask you if you had some tape. Dang, where do we... Does Harlan have the tape? Well, I mean, I know he has a tape. It's not the tape that I'm looking for. I got the tape right here. Oh, you up. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's no stairway to heaven. I'll see you around. Sounds good. Where do we get the tape from? Shucks. It's not there. It's not at all. Not the house. Now well, let's go look at our task list. Maybe that'll jog our memory for something. Uh, listen to the tune. Find the key. Turn about the device. That doesn't help. Um. Why don't I give my friends a call? I can always ask them for a hint. I remember one of the other streamers struggling with Hello? this part too. Hi Bess, it's only me. Oh, hi Nance. Listen to you, you're probably making Nancy feel terrible. Maybe I should answer the phone from now on. You wouldn't dare. It's okay guys, I understand. I'm sorry Nancy, as you may have guessed, Matt hasn't called yet and he is just so, so cute. cute. Anyway, what's Jeez. up? Got anything for me in the way of hints? I'll bet that door you found in the haunted house leads to Kessler's old workshop. Why don't you call Paula and see if she has a key? Catch you guys later. Keep in touch. Keep up the good work. <laughs> I find it a little ironic that George is like, Nathan's gonna feel bad that you're like, calling her and it's like, oh, like when Nancy calls her, like, oh, it's just you, Nancy. Meanwhile, here's me, Nancy, calling him, being like, Hey guys, how's it going? Can I have a hint? Okay, bye. Like, literally, that's the only reason I'm calling in. Uh, excuse me? Hmm. Well, that was interesting. There's no tape anywhere in here, right? No. Well, let's go... Again? Paul? Okay, I guess she's busy. So much for having my cell phone on me 24 7 call me hey, whenever Nancy, you need what's me. Up? I found uh, an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. Us. It was written by the guy who carved all the horses, Rolf Kessler. Is it okay if I keep it? As far as I'm concerned. I'll mention it to Miss Santos, see what she says. I found oh, yeah, some kind of electronic device under the carousel. I'm pretty sure someone has been turning the carousel on and off at night by remote control. Why would somebody want to do that? Whatever you found was probably just some kind of toy that fell out of some kid's pocket. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Have you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. I'll see you around. Have fun. Hmm. 
And don't think she has anything new. Stop to England. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. Wonder how I missed it. May I have this? Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. I discovered a hidden door in the haunted house. Is that right? Unfortunately, it's locked. It's obvious you don't put much stock in curses. But a word to the wise? There really do exist some doors that no one should open. I'd be very careful if I were you. Thanks for your help. Remember, Niacin. Yeah, 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 nice. Whatever. Um, how about Elliot? Hey, Nance. What's going on? I found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. Problem is, it's locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park, even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks a lot. You know, like, in here. Can't we just get in here and get some tape? <clears throat> Sorry. There, Nancy. Tape. Take it. Fine. Be difficult. Tape these down. I need to tape them to the pipes. thought that the tape would be the stumbling block of this investigation.
Okay, well, according to this, it is in Elliot's office. It's just not the... It, there's apparently two different rolls of tape. Yeah, right there. Would it be okay if I took some tape? It might come in handy. Help yourself. Like, seriously, what the heck, Nancy Drew? Like, you've got this normal tape dispenser sitting right here, and then way hidden in the back of the scene, there's this masking tape or duct tape or whatever it is. Okay. Well, now that we've done with that, let's continue our investigation. I mean, I could try to listen to it by... figure out by listening to it, but it's just easier to do it this way. Okay. Trips. Tape. There. Okay. Roll. Let's go. Better go to Harlan's. He sounds mad. Nope. Nope. Wow. Oh, uh, Ingrid's. Will Nancy Drew please report immediately to the security office? No. I better go to Harlan's. He sounds Will mad. Will Nancy Drew please report immediately <laughs> to the security office? No. Fine. Jeez. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? I'm sorry, but I thought she had a right to know what I know. You don't know Zip. I had nothing to do with the theft of that carousel horse. Just because I did time doesn't mean I'm guilty of every crime that comes down the pike, you know? I know that now, and I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Sorry. I don't feel like talking right now. My back's kind of sore. Probably because somebody just got done stabbing me there. Thanks. I can take a hand. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security Oh office? my gosh. No. Any luck? Frick off. I think we're all set. I know the tune and I've got a harmonica. Play it for miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. So what did he, did you just want the first six notes? Let me try again. Close, but no cigar. Let me try again. Close, but no cigar. Okay, can you? What, what did you actually... Maybe I should go listen to the tune again and come back later. We will be waiting. Okay, hang on. Uh, 
means it doesn't actually have a PDA in this one. Let me... Let me remember that band organ tune. Uh, okay, oh wait, 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 wait. It was on here, wasn't it? First eight notes. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Couldn't have just told me that, Miles. Yeah. Harlan's just like, oh, Nancy's not gonna. Okay, fine. What? I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. So interesting. Presumably, this key is from, I'm guessing, the culprit? I mean, I don't know who else it would be from. But, I mean, if it's... Why would the culprit send Nancy the, the key? I, I don't know. Okay. So now let's go back and do this again. Now that we know what we're supposed to do, which apparently Miles can just tell us what he wanted. Any luck? Okay. Try again. I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. Okay. song i did ride the carousel over and over and over always the same horse always the same black horse you love the carousel and you loved one horse in particular it was not the lead horse and it was not spectacular but you loved it joy what was its name i can't remember is the name important i am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse? You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name, Glory. Glory, that's right, Glory. My mother gave him to me for my birthday, my fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you loved the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, the magnificent memory machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number ten. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Tink's the guy who runs a carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's give a call to Mr. Tink. This is Tink. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. May I answer your question? According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? 
Daryl Threat was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched it. Did you ever read the book yourself? Nah, not really. I just kind of glanced through it. Do you by any chance remember Amelia's nickname? Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Sorry. Have fun fishing. I'm trying. People keep calling me. I can't get a break. Okay, uh, let's go try out that key. It's locked. Don't even start with me, Nancy. Looks like Spook 10 is missing an arm. Hmm. It's been red tagged. Oops, no power. The arm is missing. I see that. It's locked. Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. Hmm. What's that? Some pliers. Wow. What was that? <gasps> oh no. You were unconscious for how long? I'm not sure. Whatever fell on my head also fell on my arm and broke my watch. I can't afford any more accidents, Nancy. And since you seem to be rather accident prone, well, let's just say you're off the case. Huh. What's that what was there? that? Nothing to say about that, Nancy. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, let's go see Ingrid, I guess. Ask her about Spook Town. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Here's your pliers. I found them in the haunted house behind that hidden door, which led to a booby trap. I told you mine were Damn. missing. Maybe somebody found them and left them by that door on purpose. I don't know. But they prove nothing. I do know that. There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. No big deal. Yeah. Ow, my face. It's funny that Paula says we're accident prone. Even though technically, because of all the second chances, that's the first accident we've had this whole game. <laughs> Stick that on there. Uh, pliers? I don't think that's exactly how pliers work, but okay. That looks tight enough. I need to take this red tag back to Harlan. Nancy, what's up? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Sounds good. Let's see if we can call... Um, yeah. See if she knows anything, because we need to know... Joy's dad, Joy's mom's nickname. I'm afraid nickname. I can't take your call right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
Hi, Paula. It's Nancy. Listen, it turns out that Harlan was in a totally different prison than the jewel thief. I was wrong about him. I'm sorry if I upset you. I'll be in touch. Somebody here tells us the answer, and I don't remember who it is or how we find it. Hi, it's Nancy Drew again. I have another question for you about Rolf Kessler. A very important question. Let's hear it. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatzi. And I don't remember... Thanks for all the info. Call again anytime. ...how we're supposed to figure out to call that guy, but that's how. Um, so yeah. We're actually, I think, pretty close to the end of the game now. We just keep going here. Those odd sounds again. Wow, look at him. He's all spooked up. Wow. Ready for the end of the game? Yes, here we go. That must be glory. Better watch your step, Nancy. Uh, these stairs sure don't feel very safe. <gasps> oh my gosh, these must be jewels from that jewel heist. There must be over a million dollars in here. I should probably take these with me. Nah, I'm good. Okay, fine. Man, Nancy just loves to pocket stuff, doesn't she? A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did. Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. So much for the stairs. Jeez, Nancy. Oh, looks like the only way to go is through here. So this was Kessler's workshop. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. Hmm. Somebody's been making reproductions, or should I say forgeries? Sure looks that way. Somebody's been using an ancient computer. <laughs> Two potential buyers are about the hauntings are champing at the bit. <laughs> hey, horse pun. That wasn't even mine either. As it were. Or 60 split. Three to five weeks. Come on, hurry up. Work faster. Longer than I thought. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's behind on their work. I wonder who that could be. Well, time to just walk away with all of this stuff that I know, actually. My phone doesn't work. I can't get a signal down here. Dang it, Nancy. 
Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not gonna get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well, little icing on the cake. But if you think I'm letting you have them, you're nuts. You're toast now, Nancy. Oh, good. I like toast. No, oh, you might not dead. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. <laughs> ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well, little icing on the cake. That's right. You want them? Here. Ouch. Hey. I've got to get out of here. Yeah, I never really understood, like, where's that door supposed to be? Parkour. Oh, I'm no. trapped. I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. You might as well give up. I know. I'll call the police. It would be rude to use my phone now. <laughs> It would be rude to use my phone now. Would it, Nancy? It would be rude to use my phone now. Really? It would be rude to use my phone now. Are you sure about that? Here, play him a tune. Not right now. Uh. End of the road, detective. Oh my god, you didn't have to yell. Jeez. Oh, Nancy. Try again. I'm trapped. I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. You might as well give up. Ah! Ah! As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next ten years. Got him. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, on the other hand, adores me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy. Wow. We did it, chat. <laughs> yeah, Nancy in the middle of a bank robbery, refusing to use her phone to call the police because it'd be rude. Based on your cool sleuthing style, you're presented with the uh, recognition puzzle master, solving the puzzles in the fewest attempts. Well, I mean, that's that's fair. I'll take it. All right, do we get a preview? You have reached five 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 four four six eight. 
I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Unless Hi, Bess. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm leaving here and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much-needed R&R. George, I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale watching on the tour boat she owns. Wow. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week of peace, quiet, and sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Bye. As if. <coughs> Too spooky. Oh yeah, Deception Island will be our next case. Ooh. Yeah, Nancy just casually not mentioning, yeah, I kept uh, the jewels for myself. You know, just a little... Yeah, I mean, Harlan's in jail. Or, not Harlan. Elliot's in jail, but who's he gonna tell? Let's see if they list the voice actors for this one, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think, unless you already missed it, uh, I think the guy who does Harlan's voice is the same guy who does Miles, as well as like Shorty and a bunch of other people. He's uh, one of the more popular ones from the games. But I'm not sure, maybe we already missed the voice actors, I, I wasn't paying attention. Is Lenny Manella. And... Yeah, so look, here's Harlan, Anton Sukov, the receptionist, Miles, and Jonah? Is that somebody we talked to? Or no, no, sorry, Jonah is the name of the voice actor. My bad. Yeah, that guy, I think, it does. <laughs> Frank and Joe. Yeah, didn't even talk to them in this case. But, yeah, we did a chat. These are Microsoft DirectX and C++. Alright, we'll just skip those. Uh, so yeah, we did a chat. Another Nancy Drew mystery wrapped up. And that one was actually pretty quick. Uh, my time here says like 2 hours 47, and that's not counting like the roughly 10 minute intro I had before we started, and then like the 40 minutes we lost. So honestly, this all in all, this was like a 2 hour mystery, which is pretty, pretty quick. I'll admit I did skip some of the puzzles, like I didn't do the full stenography puzzle and some of the other ones, like uh, like the squid toss, I got really lucky. I remembered the solution for the first two steps on that one. Um, but yeah, some of these cases are quicker, and some of them, I think, like, obviously, if this was your first time playing this, you would probably take a lot longer, because you do a lot more wandering around and more riding the rides and playing the games and stuff, whereas I was just kind of skipping through it. Uh, but yeah. It's a fun little mystery. Probably, like I said earlier, not one of my higher ones. Like, probably like the first 10 to 12 games are like what I consider the classic Nancy Drew up to like Shadow Ranch or Blackmore or somewhere in that area. Um, yeah, this one's probably lower on the list of like my favorite games. Um, I do, I do like the music though. They did well with the carnival music, I would say. Um, but yeah, fun fun one um yeah i am looking forward to deception island as well it it that one's that one's pretty fun um so yeah that'll be our next game uh i'm not sure exactly when that's going to be um if you were here at the start of the stream you'll remember i said uh 
I, I wasn't really even planning on streaming today until today. I just woke up and I, I didn't have to go to work today. And I was like, well, I got got a few hours. Why don't I stream Nancy Drew? Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure when my next stream is going to be. At the latest, it'll probably be sometime in February because I'm going to have some some free time in like mid-February. So probably, honestly, that's when the next stream will be. So, you know, don't don't like hold your breath, you know, and check back you know, next week expecting to see more videos or anything because probably won't have time for another month or so. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys do come back and check out next time I stream. And yeah, thanks everybody for joining. And yeah, I guess we'll we'll see you next time for more Nancy Drew. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.